Alright, so a new tower came out, so it's time to make another tower tier list. So let's just get started. Um, D class, F, Night Tailed Fox, F, Sight Guard, D, Village Duster, D, UIU, uh, D, Fire Eater, C, Mole Rat, C, um, well, more of this action, kind of. Um, and now we get to the actual good towers. So, Mass Hatter, it's gonna go in like the top of A. It's good for a lot of modes, but actually, probably S. It's like the second best starting tower. Hammer Down, Unevolved, uh, probably A, like high A. It's like one of the best star towers out there. Good for every single mode besides, you know, ZK and, um, church, but it's good for everything else. Professor, um, it's gonna go S, it's just too, it's just a little too expensive, um, and, you know, it can only go to one target, so, um, Savage Beast, S+, plus. you wanna bring this or Tickle Monster to pretty much every single game mode. GSC, also gonna go in S, these aren't in order, by the way. Which is really good damage and it's elemental, which is great against most enemies, and it has the beam thing. Unevolved Iris, it's gonna go in B, it's just not that good. Nothing more to say about it. Dr. Gerald, it's gonna go above Iris, it's really good for true red lake. I might even move Village Jester up. Maybe there, yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah. Cough Machine. Uh, definitely S plus, I would say. It's just a lot easier to manage than um, Evo Village Duster. That's pretty much it. And obviously, it's the best money source. So, Spectre, it's gonna go in A. Um, probably not above Hammer Down. It's really good for crowd control. Definitely falls off later game though. I find it to be really good for church though, and library as well. Um, CI Turncoat, really not that good. RNG, but it'll go at the bottom of A. It's a okay support. Tickle Monster S plus, best support in the game. I would say it's better than Savage Beast just because it's a constant damage and range buff, but Savage Beast is only um, you know, a semi constant, but like you have to do the active ability. Um, Able. I think it's gonna go like I'll put an S for now, like there. It's really good like mid game, it kinda falls off later game though. Obviously it farms the kills and it can't get killed or stunned, so. Uh Wish Child, I forgot she had slay and I think stun immunity. Might be wrong there. I think she's gonna go like below Abel. Maybe above because she's kinda like a support. Support damage kind of tower there. I put it above Mads Hatter just because she's useful in most stages of the game. Mads Hatter is just early to mid round. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. See no evil. Pretty terrible. Um, just put him there, I guess. Jagger Bomber, uh, really useful for um, library. Um, and some other things, but kind of falls off in ZK. And it's okay for church. I think I'm just gonna put it like there. Um, Samsara, really not that good. In my opinion, worse than Abel. Uh, I wouldn't even put it in S. And honestly, weird opinion, but I don't think it's better than Spectre. Spectre's just a lot cheaper. And Samsara just gets out damaged by late game, also expensive towers, so. And Red Ryan, they actually buffed him a little bit. He got two more placement. Uh, it doesn't bring him up that much, but he's still, like, here. I might put him above Witch Child just because he's literally pure damage, really. Um, Bloodhunter, really good um, debuff. Pretty much the same level as Red Right Hand, but a little better in my opinion. Just gets more versatile and less cheap. And Wanderer. Um, 
We'll just put him like there. He's like cheap and really good for early mid game. So yeah. Scholarship Shaman S plus very versatile, has weaken, summon, um, insta kill, everything basically. O five, again, also kind of a weird opinion, but I wouldn't put him in S plus. Like yeah, he deals good damage. I just feel like you know like I wouldn't count him as my one of my main damage sources. But we'll see at the end of the tier list if I move him up. Um Winter Wonderland. Um he's okay. Kind of really specific situational. Um I put him in A. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it like top of A. Um, Valkyrie, she's gotten a little bit better. Not anything crazy though, I think I'll go above Able. Um, MC and DH, and pretty good damage source and money source, but not amazing. I know people in the last trailers were saying that he's really good. But I just feel like it takes so long for him to get that damage. Like, if you're gonna have him as a main damage source, or economy source, like, he doesn't get a crazy amount of money, in my opinion. Um... I feel like we have a little too many things in S. Hold on. Professor, Abel, uh, see so I turn code in B. Okay, I think that's pretty good right there. Um, MC and D, we are going to put in S. Probably like there. Maybe, maybe a little higher. Yeah, that's good. Clockwork Apostate. Um, I wouldn't say he's a must bring, to be honest with you. Like last time I said that, but we'll see at the end of the tier list again. He's not as good as well. He might be better than O5. We'll see. I'll, we'll see at the end. Um, he's like on par with Wonder, even though he should be a little better than he is, because you know he's <laughs> literally gone from church. Um, Achilles heel. I may have underrated him a little bit, but I really don't think he's all that, because <laughs> you can only place one. It's kind of expensive, but I'll put him like. I think he's kind of tied with Witch Child, in my opinion. Maybe slightly better though, just because you can move him around, you know. So we'll do that for now. Um, Evo D class, they kind of buffed him. They uh, took away some cost, um, but still not something you should unironically use, like as a winning damage unit. Um, Evo on TF, he's pretty good, um, I don't find myself using him though, like, most of the time, so, I think right there is fine. Evo Psych card, really good in, uh, library, maybe good for church, I'm not too sure, because he is physical. Um, we'll put him, like, near the top of A, maybe even the top of A, because he's better than Able, realistically. Evolved Village Duster, definitely as... Um, but again, since Kaf Machine exists, that does put him down a bit. Um, so we'll just go right here. It's a pretty good damage source and money source, though. Uh, Evolved Fire Eater, we're going to put that in S+, because it's the best early game damage. Evolved uh, Hammer Down, also S+, because he's tied with GOC. So just know you can switch these out if there's a lot more magic resistance than take hammer down. If there's more physical resistance than take GOC. Um, evolved Sino Evil. Really not the best. Um, he's really only specific situations. Like I might honestly put him um, in A. Like he's also really expensive. <laughs> Speak realistically speaking, um, I guess I'll put him in here somewhere though. I think that right there is fine. We're gonna move Valkyrie to a. Mezhar is gonna stay bottom S. Okay, um, because like he does weaken, and it's only in one specific area though. I feel bad putting Valkyrie so low, but. Mm. Evolved Iris, uh, not amazing. Uh, not the worst, but, you know. We'll just put her 
No, honestly, let's just put her tied with D-Class. I never, ironically, uh, use her. Also, Vault Speed and Weevil is literally just a better version of her, so. Um, and 3-4-3, three, three, kind of weird order, I messed it up, but, um, he's, he really fell off, like, a while ago, like two months ago, maybe more. Um, but he's still, like, a decent tower, you know? I would put him about there. Yeah, I like that placement. So yeah, I like this uh, tier list right here. So we got one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. We got the perfect team up here. So be Savage Beast or Tickle Monster, GOC or Hammer Down, Cough Machine, Scarlet Shaman, and F Fall Fire Eater. So I like that right there. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good tier list. So that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion in the comments. I might add them to the next one. Thank you for watching and have a good day. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.